Here we are again. It's been a couple weeks since my last build. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the last two builds that I did. Um, first off, there was the collaboration with Carl Jacobson, which was so much fun. I was really excited when Carl contacted me, um, asked me to do a video with him. And, um, and I was lucky enough to actually get some really cool paint chips from him. I really like the way these look. And he was also, he also hooked me up with a handful of the actual pieces of what's called Fordite. Uh, I've heard it called uh, motor agate. Um, and it's just layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of automotive paint. And it's, you've seen Carl's videos, you know how amazing it can look when it's turned. So I've got a couple, a couple pieces here. So unless I've got an amazing idea, I don't plan on experimenting too much with these as I do making sure I'm going to like it before I actually try and build something. So thanks again, Carl. That was so much fun. Last Friday, I uh, posted this, my HDPE joiner's mallet. As you can see, it's not glued in any way. It's just got a mechanical joint. The, the, the bottom, see, they don't fit. And so you can put it in one way and it won't go down all the way to the other side. And on the other side, you can you can have a whack at it. Uh, and I've already I've already used it um, quite a bit. Let's see if it comes into focus. So you can already see some marks on the face, but it's holding up really well, and it's got a nice feel to it. And uh, and I got a good fit out of the handle. I was really happy with that. So uh, oh, let me show you the inspiration for that. I actually said it wrong in the video. I said jointers. Mallet. I think I said it in the very beginning. Uh, I said it twice. But after, after doing the split screen and getting that all set up and actually having it work, I just didn't have the, I just didn't have the heart to reshoot it. So I left it in there. One of those guys. It's like built for use. You know, this is designed for use, and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So I think they're. I just think they're gorgeous. And there was another mallet uploaded. That's a um, HDPE. Mallet. He made a Carver's mallet. It's, it's a round one. It looks really good. Uh, I'll put a link to that. I think it came out really cool. It was a con construction icon, I think. Construction icon. I'm really upset. I've lost my hat. I've been looking everywhere for my hat. I have a baseball hat. Uh, it's a Giants baseball cap, and uh, I can't, can't find it. I, I don't like baseball. Uh, I think the last time I went to a, a baseball game, Barry Bonds was there. And uh, I was sitting up in the in the stands, and this guy next to me starts leaning over and talking about Buster Posey and his stats and his RBIs or something. And I just had to cut him off. And I was like, "Look, man, I like the game, but honestly, I'm I'm really here for the garlic fries." My friends are like, "We're team black and orange, or we're team blue and red." And we're like, "Okay, we like that team, but I don't care about the people. I don't care about." The stats, you know, I don't care. But anyway, I lost my hat. I looked in the house, I looked in my truck. I don't have another baseball cap. So, I don't know. I need something else to wear. I need to find my baseball cap. It was just totally comfortable. So, it's February. I guess even in California, I'm allowed to wear this. I went to Minnesota one time. Went to Minnesota in May. And I didn't know. I've never been outside of California, and uh, I packed like a Californian. I packed jeans and t-shirts, and you couldn't go outside because it was snowing in May. Uh, it was snowing like crazy. We almost couldn't fly out because it was all snowed up. Like, what do we do? I'm like, oh, we'll go to the mall. So they've got this mall there that's huge. It's the um, it's the Mall of America, and as best I can tell, it's basically designed so that Minnesotans can feel like they're outdoors because it's gigantic. It, when we were there, there was this, um, there was a roller coaster in the middle, you know, it was this Camp Snoopy. But anyway, yeah, I'm all of America. I bought two things. I bought uh, this hat and I bought a British flag. It was cold in May. Play around the CNC machine and uh, check this out. It's a box and you can see it's all designed, six sides all designed and cut out on the CNC and I used a program called Maker Case to 
lay out the cut. And you basically just go in there and say you want a box three inches by three inches with finger joints and the material is quarter of an inch thick. And it generates an SVG file for you. You put the clamp down your material and cut it out. So I added a Doctor Who decoration. It's Gallifreyan for um, where's the bathroom. I always find it interesting in foreign languages they, have, they always have you you know say things like where's the bathroom it's useless because that's the only thing I know how to say but you know if you ask somebody where the bathroom is it's not like they're gonna just say the same thing back to you they're gonna give you directions to the bathroom in a foreign language and you don't speak it so what's the point so anyway I don't know what it says there's there's a whole sect of people out there that that uh, translate Gallifreyan and can actually, you know, draw and write in it. Um, I just picked this picture off the internet because I thought it looked pretty. So this is my, I'm going to pretend that it's my Siege um, TARDIS. When the video gets past five minutes, I start getting antsy. Because when I'm watching a video that's over five minutes, I'm usually skipping ahead. If the video is more than five minutes, I'm usually skipping forward. I'm, I'm, I'm usually skipping bits. If there's some of you out there who like longer videos, um, you, know, you can watch it twice. And I'm fine with that. You go ahead and watch it twice and uh, watch it three times if you want. I'm fine with that. It's totally whatever works for you. <laughs> um, oh, I did have a request. I've had a request uh, two weeks in a row for a shop tour. And I keep, I keep commenting back to the guy, yes, a shop tour. I should do that. And, um, and I still have it. Yes. Shop tour. I think it's a good idea. It's just such a small shop. You could see the whole thing in about a minute and a half. But um, I think it might be fun to do, you know, um, sort of a, an artsy fartsy shop tour video. So look for that in the future. Right, right, right before I do the dangerous dovetails. I'm sure of it. I'm going to post that. Thank you very much. I'll catch you later.